Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo, and I'm here today with Eric. He is a new trader as far as training goes, but did the class a while ago, just never, never traded. Uh, so we're here today reviewing Google. He's in this now as an option. Now, what did you do? Put uh, um, three contracts. Which is how many the, shares? Um, 300 shares. Yes. Um, um, 840 call. Okay. It's expiring. Uh, this Friday, March 10th. Okay, so what did you pay for him? Paid a dollar ten. So that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. So how much did that cost? Um, 110 three, times 300. 300. 310 dollars. 330, 330 yeah. yeah. So here's the area, 838-ish, okay. Here's the area up here over this was when the earnings were. It made a brand new high, fell on the earnings at 841.95, basically 842. So the stock really opened today and rally gapped up. Small gap up neutral, rallied, and it looks good. It looks strong. This looks stronger right now than the market. But the market looks strong too. So you're playing this as a trade with the market that you're playing for the market to pop over the high this week, once yet again with Google. Now, what are you going to do? Because you're only in this now. You really only got till Thursday. I wouldn't ever suggest holding somebody unless you're deep into the money until the last day. So in this case here, you've got, you're around 8.33-ish. You've got $7 to get it to at the money. What are you planning on doing with this? Tomorrow morning, if you get up and Google's gapping up? I'm going to get out if it gets close to the target. Or if it hits the target, obviously I'll get up. What if it doesn't hit the target? What if you get up in the morning? It's at 8.38. You're going to be up. Yeah. I'll possibly get up. I see what the, you know, if I look at the chart and see, and see if, if it looks, the chart's still favorable. I may stay in a little, but I'll, I'll probably get out in the evening. If, oh, see how it. In the evening? You can't get out in the evening. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the <laughs> Is there midnight I mean? trading? I don't know about <laughs> the evening. The market closes mm. at four. What are you talking about the evening? <laughs> what time zone are you from? You're living in Philly. All right, now, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you were just talking about. If you get up in the morning, this is at 838, and it looks amazing, you don't know. It could pull back till it rallies. You've only got Wednesday, Thursday. I'll probably get out. So you could put an order out ahead of the open tomorrow if it's gapping up. You could watch a trade between 930 and 10 and see where the, uh, where the option trade is. If it looks great in the gap and the market looks good too, you could let it ride out into the late afternoon tomorrow on Wednesday. Tonight. Yeah. And oh. see what happens. You still have till Thursday. So, I mean, this okay. could very well get over that 840 number or at least get to it. You know, it's, it's moving into it. So it's moving into the number. In fact, it's rallying right now. Look, quick. Go over and see what you're up. Quick, 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 quick. Quick, quick, quick. You've got 300. Are you up? It's over 833 now. Come on, yeah, are you up? It's um, over 7.97. Um, you should be able to pull up the position and see your P&L right there, or the position itself. Available. No, look at the position. You're up in the position from where we yeah, took it, I think. Uh, where are you up now? Yeah, um, huh? No, that's telling you something different. I want to look, go and see. That's not the position at all. That's just showing you your account status and your balance. Pull up the position. Pull up the option chain. You still have another order out? 
where are your live positions? I need to know that you don't have two orders sitting out there. I think you have two orders out because look at your look at your buying power now. Yeah, when you told me your balance was, yeah. I think you bought one, and I think you have an order out for a second one here, or I think it filled you a second one. Okay, this is very important. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is like a primary importance. I think you have another order out, or you took two positions. Orders go quick. Yes, you still have an order out of 105. Cancel yeah. it. Or no, it says cancel, but yeah. I don't think it's cancel. Cancel it. It says cancel, but it's still taking out of your buying power. You, you got to call them. All right, go. Let's look at the actual trade then that you did take. Make sure you take a history. Go. Positions. Quick. It doesn't say you have any positions, though. That's not right. Positions. It looks like you took the position from your account uh, balance, but it doesn't, it doesn't. It's a riddle. All right, you're gonna have to call him right now. Okay. All right, we're gonna <laughs> continue this video later after we find out if Eric has one position on, two positions on, or no positions on, <laughs> to be continued.